Thank you for inviting me. My name again is uh, Sharon Rose Master Sylvie Diego, and it's my pleasure to share with you about our Atomy marketing details um, for our Auto Sales Master Workshop, or course, I think you call it as well. So first of all, congratulations to everybody who's here, because this is really the place um, that everybody should want to be today and any day with Atomy Sales Masters who are uh, working to become financially free and great entrepreneurs and business people. So let, let's get started. So first of all, a little reality check. Uh, I like to do this because it really helps to drive our own uh, passion, but also it's gonna help us to get consumers and to get business partners, which is always important to be a strong auto sales master. So just a little um, outline of the landscape. Uh, we're in the fourth industrial revolution, right? We kind of know this, we've been hearing about this from our CEO, Hangul Park, but this is important to remember. Um, you know, we, we transferred into the industrial revolution with electricity and computing, and now we're in the connected economy where Atomy is a leading player in the connected platform economy. Uh, but just to remind us what it is, it's all about artificial intelligence and robots, right? And many other technologies. And what's different this time is that it's really going across all of our lifestyle these days compared to other industrial revolutions. So for example, we have GPS and we have Siri and Facebook um, identifies us. Um, Netflix gives us recommendations and personalizations of ads and VR technology, which Atomy is using for retail selling. But all this is what's called the fourth industrial revolution where Atomy is playing. And according to the World Economic Forum, they like to talk about this, but they talk about it positively, that it's potential for a lot of income levels and quality of life across the globe. But the planners are always really positive, right? But the reality is that people have a lot of concerns about all of this technology in all of our lives, whether it's privacy, data security, and information accuracy. And as income earners, which we are all on this call, right? Are we all income earners? Yes. Atomy income seekers? Yes. So we have concerns as well as our friends and neighbors who are down the street or across the globe. Uh, there's a lot of job loss related to uh, the AI in the uh, Industrial Revolution and a lot of need for people to upskill, to be reemployed. And there's a question of human relevance. If all these robots are going to do all the jobs, what are we going to do, right? And global competition. But we're lucky. Um, now, some of the young whippersnappers that can study hard and um, have a lot of energy to work 20 hours a day, they can make $150,000 to $600,000 if they work for Google. Or if they're in data analytics, they can make almost $200,000. So that's the alternative instead of Atomy, but not many people can do it, right? In fact, there's only a million people in the, uh, in the world that actually work for the top four AI companies. That's not a lot because even just in the United States, there's 131 million, so far less than 1%. So if these robots and AI are taking away our jobs, then um, there's not gonna be uh, many jobs in that area. And even basic things are becoming automated, as you know, lawyers, accountants, everybody we know um, can be automated. And so this is really a good talking point because one of the big things we're gonna talk about today is how to get consumers and how to get partners. So, you know, all these people um, are really hurting these days, right? So they're really good to talk to. Now, there are platforms that use the AI technology, and you know them, Amazon, Uber, and Airbnb, but they're all profit-driven for the owners, right? Owners and shareholders, right? So we know a lot of people. We see them. I know a friend who she has four part-time jobs. She's a coach. She's a she's an Uber driver for Uber Eats. She, she has all these things that she's doing. I know so many people like that but they're really not making that much money and it's hard for them to sleep. And that's why I talk to them about Atomy and becoming an Atomy consumer. And you know, even though they have AI, all the economic structure is still the same, right? As in the olden days, there's a few people at the top, that smiley guy in the green, and he's making all the green money, right? So most of the money was made in the top before the AI and fourth industrial revolution and very little made by beginners. And it's the same economic structure. 
That's what atomy is competing against. And that's what we um, have an opportunity to change. So nothing has changed in the background. Um, but atomy, right? We have an, a righteous payout system. We no longer have a pyramid system. In atomy, we have a righteous system. One of the things we're going to talk about today is our general commission. And we can start at $60 a day and we can all reach $1,200 a day just for general commission. So behind all the technology, because Atomy does use a lot of this technology, but what's really a differentiator, let's say a differentiator of Atomy when you talk to your friends is that we have a righteous system and it's the soft business model and the soft heart of Chairman Hongo Park who's created this compensation system that we're going to talk about in more detail. That's what's different about Atomy. So Atomy gives us the opportunity to make many rich people. And we have over 100 people now that are striving for, maybe some of you are already auto sales masters, and this is really the drawing point when you get to talk to people about the business. So in this post-platform age with the AI technology, as you know, we are a self-sumer driven company. And we have all these producers that the company takes care of, sourcing. I have a lot of friends that try to do drop shipping or online malls. In fact, we just had a friend that was trying to do that and also working, and both of those things aren't working out. So when I listen to people that are trying to do all these other types of entrepreneurial adventures, um, I listen for them, and then I tell them that we have the best platform. So I meet them where they are. If they're an Uber driver, I say, hey, we have a platform that you're the owner from day one. And if it's somebody who's really trying to be, you know, into some other kind of technology, hey, we have that technology. So a lot of talking points we can say, because Atomy shares with consumers up to 70%. And as you know, we're building our platform for free on the Atomy platform. So this is the real advantage of Atomy. And so the crossover as to what's unique about Atomy is our con connected consumers, which make us, uh, you know, residual income generating people. And it's all because of the multiplication force of network marketing, the good of network marketing. And that's the power of Atomy. We use only the good part of network marketing, which is the payout using the MLM concept. So only thing about MLM with that, as you know, is the payout. And that's what we're going to talk about um, detail. But leave you just with one last thought. You know, people say, um, if you don't own the platform, you're the commodity. You know, if you're using online platform for free, you're the commodity, right? They're selling your, your clicks and likes uh, to advertisers, and you are the product. But with Atomy, no, we are an integral part of the core people in, in our platform. And our competition, though, is out there, right? Mr. Uh, Jeff Bezos is becoming bigger. So this is, um, you know, it's an interesting fact, but what this really means is that no one can, you, you've seen it lately, it's very hard to compete with Jeff Bezos if we tried to have our own business, but with Atomy we can. And we know another reason why we can get consumers is because of all the retail stores that have closed down, right? This last year, boy, I think there's like 600,000 businesses have gone out. And that means not only the businesses have gone out, but so many people we know, right, are losing their jobs. In fact, there was one of our partners had a friend overseas in Asia who a year or two ago, she'd pop into the meetings, uh, but she wasn't really paying attention. She had a day job. She was an entrepreneur selling on some shop. But guess what? Just this weekend, uh, just yesterday, I think, she finally opened up, right? And she is now really wants to become um, an Atomy sales master, and she's shaking hands with the team. And that's the opportunity because we have to leverage the messages out there. People are suffering, so we can meet them where they are. They're suffering for their jobs, and we can get them to come in and show them what to do. And the great news about our Atomy platform, just so we know, because it is hard to work um, to become an auto sales master, but in the last year, outside of Korea, Atomy's revenue is way up, right? About 30%, maybe more, depending on the country. So just to set the context is that now is the time for Atomy. And I'm so glad everybody's here today. And let's get into how we actually calculate and make the consumer base to become successful. So 
again, I'm, I'm sure you all know this, but these are talking points we have to have, you know, in our elevator pitch. So just as a reminder, we know, um, uh, and there may be one or two people that um, are not used to all of the presentations themselves, right? So there's no fees and there's no obligations. So this is huge. And this is, comes into play when we're going to go into the compensation of our downline groups because it's so easy on. You know, uh, one of our partners had been in another finance business and she was explaining that she had to pay, you know, $99 to join and she had to pay a monthly fee and she had to uh, have licenses that cost hundreds of dollars. And she would work so hard like we do to get somebody to listen to a little pitch or a presentation or even just over coffee. And then at the end of it, she'd have to list all the fees. And sometimes we forget that. So that is really a driver for our success is no fees and no obligations. And we know we have no risks. So when it comes time to have your own little, you know, you do need a little inventory sometimes to, to keep things moving quickly because you want to get things into the hands of the consumers, then we know there's no risks because there's a 100% satisfaction guarantee. We can return products from 30 days. So it's another great talking point as you're building your consumer base, right? Because we have to get people to try the products. So no fees, no obligations, no risks. And the other foundational element, um, this is really, we know drives our residual income is that the company designed the low price and the high quality for customer success. And unlike other businesses, our, we don't have to pay for Facebook ads, right? We don't have to, once we get somebody hooked on a few products and that's really the key to become auto sales master we have to get people to try the products and then the record is that once they try it 99.9 percent .9 of the people voluntarily order and that is the engine that's making our residual income right so our hard effort to become a sales master especially auto sales master is to know this in your heart and that's why you can work hard to get those repeat customers that are going to voluntarily reorder. So we know the products are great. That's not enough. We all have to know what the effects are. We all have to use them, right? But the products are great because they're high quality and they're low price. And again, this is going to make this business model. If we stick with it, it's already proven over 10 years and we can do it because our mass stage is the low, low price, high quality and the curated products. So all of this foundational stuff is here with us. We don't have to do any of this and it's here. So let's take advantage of it. And we know we have a global distribution system with Colmar and Kerry. And we know that these, this system is already in place. And we don't have to touch it, right? We don't have to touch all this stuff. It's just an area that we're going to talk about that we have to focus on. And the company is um, building across the globe. And this one global ID number, remember this, this is going to come up as we're calculating our um, success to be the auto sales master. This one global ID number is why you have to keep at it and stay in it and keep doing it. And also the company's whole policy of global sourcing and global sales, um, this is another big way to get consumers and to keep consumers. Because if you keep consumers, and they start to use all these products and more products are coming in, the basket size is going to grow to give you the PV that you need. So again, these are foundational elements of the company and we have to be confident because, I mean, this year we're 1.5 billion in sales. So if, you, if, you're, if you're still questioning because people say in the Imperial Masters say that by the time you become Imperial Master, maybe seven or eight times you thought you might quit, right? And everybody says, don't give up. And this is the reason why we shouldn't give up. All these facts we just went over, the structure of the company, the products, the success record, all this stuff means that it's going to work. The ship is sailing for the next hundred years. And that's why we have to do all the effort in the, in the next steps we're going to talk about because we can rely on the company. I just want to tell you that the technology is there when people say, oh, but there's all this other stuff out there. Well, as you know, you've seen Mr. Park in the, in, the, in the leadership testing all this technology. So again, we're a high tech company as well, and we can get people to come in. And we know we have the marketplace, right? So 
this marketplace is coming down the pike in another year or two where it's going to be um, a sister marketplace. So if we can keep and hold our customers and get new uh, customers through this, there's going to be thousands of products. So it's going to be easier for us to build our customer base, especially um, with all of the direct uh, consumer manufacturers. And we're going to be able to compete really um, well with any other marketplace, even Amazon. And um, there's going to be a lot of deals. So our, our job is going to get um, easier in, in many ways because, you know, more people are going to see Atomy as we open this um, Aja Mall. So this is um, some energy that can drive us to keep going forward. So just to um, wrap up this introductory section, um, it's all about consumers. So anybody can do this, right? Anybody can do this. We know we have our Mastige value prop. We have the visionary management. We have the plug and play global system. We have the technology and we have the righteous compensation plan. So let's be all confident because sometimes when the door closes, when the phone gets hung up, when the Zoom call ends, when you start to reveal to your friend why you want to talk to him about um, uh, facial cream, wrinkle, anti-wrinkle cream or hemoheme, you know, we have to just keep at it. So let's go into really the core of what we want to talk about today is the Righteous Compensation Plan. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like button. And if you want to be the first to know when we drop new videos, please hit the subscribe button and click the notifications bell.